Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and my little helper here are gonna tell you exactly what we're eating for our Christmas dinner. <laughs> Not everyone in our family is keto, so there are a few things that we will be having that are not keto, but most things are. So for appetizers, we will be having deviled eggs. Beckett was gonna help me, but he decided not to. Well, come over here and help me. I make my deviled eggs with chosen mayonnaise. I also add bacon fat in there, some pickles, Redmond seasoning salt, and then I top them with either fish roe, or bacon chips, or Parmesan cheese. You can top them with whatever you like. Shrimp cocktail. Right, so that's the next thing we're gonna have as an appetizer, a shrimp, mm. <laughs> shrimp cocktail. We just get the shrimp from Walmart, and we make our own cocktail sauce. It's very easy. You just use any sugar-free ketchup that you like, and then add fresh horseradish. You can make it as spicy or mild as you want. We like it a little spicy. And we also get some fresh lemon to squeeze over it. We always do a charcuterie board as well. So it's an assortment of our favorite deli meats. Uh, we do prosciutto, salami. I put some bacon chips on there as well. Pickles, olives. We really love red dragon cheese when we can find it. I didn't get any this year because we don't live anywhere near Nashville anymore. So that's the only place I can find it. We usually get a blue cheese, some Parmesan, and we also make a cheese ball. Instead of using crackers, we always use the carnivore crisp, the chicken breasts, because they're so mild, they just go really well with a cheese ball. You can use any of them. They have brisket and ribeye, all sorts of different cuts of meat, and they're nice and crispy. I have a discount code for the carnivore crisp. It is B-E-R-R-Y, berry. You can also make your own crackers. We actually have a recipe in our holiday cookbook. If you wanna check that out, it is linked below. We also like to throw some berries on the charcuterie board. Beckett really loves blackberries and blueberries and strawberries, so we have some of those on there as well. Some spicy mustard and nuts. So this year, Granny Berry has supplied us with fresh cracked walnuts and hickory nuts, and so that's what we'll be adding to the outside of our cheese ball, as well as on the charcuterie board. I also do celery that is stuffed with garlic cream cheese and walnuts. Again, I'll be using the walnuts that Granny Berry gave us that she cracked with her own bare hands. So I just take cream cheese and I add garlic powder to it, mix it up really well, and then spread it into the celery and then sprinkle the nuts on top. You can also just blend the nuts into the cream cheese. That way they're already in there. This is a recipe that my grandma used to use. So I really like making these because it just reminds me of her and it's super delicious. Our main course this year is an assortment of smoked meats. We will be having smoked ribs, smoked chicken, smoked game hens, and probably a few other meats as well. We're trying to use up some of the meat in our freezer. For our sides, we're having traditional green bean casserole and baked beans. Like I said, some people in our family are not keto and they like these sorts of things. I'll also be doing a cauliflower bake, which is just cauliflower and lots of cheese, lots of bacon, and some green onions. I'll also be making my keto cornbread. It's good with everything and it's something we don't eat all the time but it is a special treat, so I make it this time of the year. And then for dessert, we will be having Christmas pavlova, which is a recipe that my friend Melissa has on her blog. I'll link any recipes that I mention in the description below for you guys. Christmas pavlova is a really nice, clean dessert. It's beautiful, it looks great on a tablescape, and it tastes amazing too. So that's what we're having this year for Christmas dinner. Let me know what you'll be having on your dinner table this year, and I hope you all have a wonderful, merry Christmas. Love you, mean it. Bye.